Well, I'm at the Goodwill. I just left from working at my booth. This one's on the way home. Well, it's quite a few on the way home. Let's see what this Goodwill has. These are pretty. Newer pieces, but pretty. Okay, wait, what? Okay, hang on. What's with the cat? Lightweight, because it's wooden. How much are you? Twelve ninety nine. Oh, it's so cool, though. I might still have to get it. Look at it. Twelve ninety nine for personal. That's not bad. I hope Highway doesn't mind. Let me get that in the cart. I'll be right back in a second. Okay. It's like seven thirty. They're gonna close soon. Because, like I said, I was at the booth working. They close at 6. So, even if that's all I get is my new kitty cat, I'm cool with that. <laughs> we look. They're probably going to start vacuuming any moment. <laughs> Aw. Little bisque thing someone was working on. It's a bank. Hmm. That just needs finished out. It's only $1.99. I believe I feel confident you will find a home. There's a Statue of Liberty for my collection. My not starting another collection collection. Nine dollars, ten dollars, sorry. I better not. It's so big too. Let's not do that. I'm getting my collections under control. Dang it. There's another, I don't know why. I'm just fascinated with the Statue of Liberty. I'm just going to keep it to my little figurines, though. Sorry, I'm not hollering at you guys. <laughs> I'm hollering at myself. Pretty sure that's a newer piece. Oh, well, that's cute. $1.99, a little hobbies piece. The apple's broken a little bit. This place has been picked through, but we'll probably still find something. I thought those were new, new-ish. Hey, is that... No, that's that's Army, right? Yeah. I'm getting ready to do my Air Force display. I've been threatening for years. I'm choosing Air Force because my husband was Air Force, and we live by the Air Force Academy. Of course, we have... Well, that's, that's interesting. I'm going to check to see what that is in a second. We have, you know, all kinds of military here, of course. But, I'm uh, like, that's fun. It's kind of weird, a telephone and a horse. That might make sense to somebody, though. Obvious piece. I think that's a yes. That'll make sense to somebody. Let's see what somebody did here with some pottery. Yeah, that's all pottery. Let's get this up. We can look at it. <laughs> That's actually kind of interesting. I mean, I'm. <laughs> this probably should have been a cream color, and then it would have a vintage vibe, right? Four ninety nine. Oh look, I didn't even see that. The little shot glasses that they put upside down. Awesome. Yeah, this. If this would have been like a turquoise or a cream, that'd have been perfect. Like. Perfect. See a little bunny back there. Let's see how old you might or might not be. I don't know. It's not feeling like it. Yeah, coals. Just made with that vintage vibe. I won't tell you for the hundredth time. Well, some people want the vintage vibe because it's trending, but they don't like to buy second hand or don't have the patience to, you know, maybe go thrifting all the time to find the good second hand. I don't know. So, companies have been blacking out vintage doodads left and right. Quite a few years now. I'm not going to look at that because the whole best part is broken off. I want to see this Mexican metal thing. I believe that's Mexican art. Yeah. Hey, there's a pumpkin. It's a little glass pumpkin. If it's not too much, I'll get it. Don't mind me. Yeah, that's fine. 
I'll go in the booth with the other one I'm saving for a couple months. That's fine. Home goods thing, you know, but I'll, I won't mark it up very much at all. All those littles that people have fun with. And it adds up towards my rent, so. That's plastic. Probably vintagey. I'm here for the mask. I've been looking at them for a couple years now, knowing that the 80s was going to kick in hard. But that one. Mm. Oh. It's a pretty little hand painted cappuccino mug. One, though. $1.99. I'll keep it in mind if I see another one over in the cup aisle. $2.99 for that shell. Little Yadro look alike. <laughs> Rising. Oh, look at that. Little hand painted plate. It's got a chip, but we want to investigate. It is older. Posters. Oh. Well, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Holland. That's nice. Hey, you go up. Excuse me, all that was with the nativity set that I didn't really show you guys there on the top shelf. Let's check this pottery piece out. Not bad. Not bad. Lennox looking. Makasa. Ivory Bone China. Makasa. There goes the vacuum cleaner I was talking about. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen any moment. That's alright. If it gets too bad, I'll do a voiceover. I don't love voiceovers. So monotone and you lose the excitement. I'm not going to fake it because that would be kind of gross. <laughs> okay. I'm going to flip aisles. All right, bases, one of my favorite aisles. It's getting a little rough. That's going to be new. And it's been a while since I mentioned this, but it's still a fact. I know there are some girls that have a florist shop, and they're pretty good about hitting all the thrift stores so they could save money, you know, and buying some cool, almost like a Target piece or Walmart, but it sure is pretty, isn't it? Definitely. You know, save money and buy some, recycle some bases. Hey, that is glass. I like the optic. Too many chips. Like, not flea bites, bona fide chips. A flea bite is tiny, tiny, tiny. Some people like to call chips flea bites. <laughs> That's a nice ombre colorway. New stuff? Maybe not. Wait a minute. No, yeah, it is. I saw a raccoon. It was just shiny. No, no, no. There's some nice optic stuff. I got a feeling this is pretty new. But what's the price? $4.99? If it was half price, I would get those. Just because of the, like, Empoli optic look. Now we are into the mainly clear floral vases. And double check though. Missed something. Might be something super cool, even though it's clear and, you know, just a floral thing. Most floral stores and departments have two categories, you know, like the real affordable. That's perfume. I love the bottle. We're going to smell that. Um, and then, you know, they'll have like better brands. Because, you know, like Hager and Fenton, they made some stuff for floral. Well, I think what Fenton did, they designed something and approved it. And then the, had it made China. Yeah, China. You've probably seen plenty of them. Maybe I'll find a picture and throw up. You can still sell them for $15 or so, though. But it would be real nice of you to mention when you say Fenton, not to stop there and mention, you know, what it is and keep it at an affordable price. 
for those that, you know, like a gateway into collecting Fenton. Okay, I kind of like you, you little redware thing. What are you, Japan or something? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Let's put that in the cart, y'all. <laughs> A wall pocket. A little 60s, 70s girl back there. Molly made a fish. Just chatting because, you know, the music and now we have the vacuum cleaner because it's close to closing for them. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting piece. $3.99. Why do I love this? I do love that. I might keep that for myself. Cool. It's giving me 70s vibes. I'm not going to swear to it just yet. Just off the top of my head. Let's see if this is a Hager. Probably pretty common, those little felt pads. About that size, too. About penny size. It probably is. Stickers missing off of it, though. Those are some cool bookends. $2.99. Those are cool for like a lodge. Definitely. $2.99 a piece. I'm not 100% feeling it, but I should probably. These are cool. Imagine it would take a little while, but eventually the right person would come along. Because Colorado is very big on lodge. The lodge work. Definitely a thing here. So the Air Force Academy Chapel, which is under a huge box. It's been that way for what four or five years now as they're redoing it Whew, gosh only knows how much that's costing but that's an important American icon so fix it I'm not gonna complain it needs fix and fix it very important it's like West Point but for the Air Force what is this? delicious po Polish mead a Polish pot. Imported when it's sole agents. Okay, I don't know what this means. Flip side. It's always good to check these floral vases that these fake flowers come in. See if there's something good. Let's see this. It's a bear. We'll get that. Oh, well, I could see this being an interesting booth item. Let me make sure he wasn't supposed to have wings. There is a hole in his chin where something might have dangled. Okay, there's a pillar missing though. Darn. That's cool. It's only $3.99. I checked for crystal. Any crystal that I might want to get. I've had good luck with the Ralph Lauren. Fire and light selling. Never found water for jet. But that's what started this. Copying the thrifting twins. This is a nice piece of Mexican glass. Only $1.99. Wow, that's pretty. It's prettier in person, you guys. I wish there was another one. These are nice too. This might be Mexican glass as well. Two ninety nine a piece. Those are fun. There's three of those. I really want another one of those. I like that. This is pretty. Spare parts. Oh, I could use that. It'd have to be a lot bigger. That's really pretty. Got a nice butterscotch drip glaze on it. Signed. $3.99. That's pretty. Wonder if it's supposed to have a cork. Just trying to read that name. Oh, look what we have here. Gigantic kitty vase. Oh, you're awesome. How much are you? You are awesome. Dang. Ears are chipped. For that much, it's going to have to be perfect. I wouldn't mind getting that for the booth, though. Need some lashes, too. 
world market or something made in India world market anthropology type thing oh yes there it is we did it two ninety nine a little piece of raku no oil spill but some people like this look too we'll get that okay Whew. now that makes sense life makes sense again <laughs> and this is where I found a piece last time where it was hidden way back down in there remember I was kind of pouting like oh no raccoon it's a pretty color it's not vintage but there's like five of them but nice vintagey color luster wear it has a birdie and a little girl on it I don't know if I've ever seen them with little people like that pink vintage glass that looks vintage too but it's this little pink piece I kind of want to look at see a chip already yeah <laughs> I actually have a big duck terrine. Mine's way cooler than that. I don't know when I think I'm going to use it, but I just had to have it. It's so cool. I added one thing. Get it? It's still sealed. This crepe erase from the commercials. Some of their stuff is quite expensive. This is a facial scrub. It's still sealed. The date's good. And this is so new. It smells awesome. It's a sweet little peachy smell. I'm going to get that for me. <laughs> All right. I had fun. The winner, of course, would be the cat, right? Well, I'm going to breeze through t-shirts real quick to see if there's any of these tissue ones like I like to wear. These things that I like to wear double up. I feel like you're wearing nothing. I'm going to breeze through them real quick. But I hope you guys had a little bit of fun on this trip. And I will talk to you later. Bye for now.